guys, Brickman117, welcome back to the channel, phase two of the ultimate longsword build. Before we get into a speed build, I just thought I'd show you guys what I've been up to since the last video. So obviously I've done more than what you can see here, but I mentioned in the last video I'd have to strip an awful lot of sets down, and that's basically what I've been up, been up to. If you haven't seen my previous builds, you can see here, this is how I build. Trying to build anything without knowing where your parts are, is, uh, is very challenging. So I try to get everything organized before I start building. That way it's nice and easy to build. So these are all the small pieces that I'm gonna be using all of the time. So nice and easy to get up on the desk there. And then the larger pieces, <clears throat> I put in these towers. So whenever I'm building, obviously this is gonna be predominantly built in gray. These are all the black pieces that were left over from the uh, sets that I've stripped. So far I've stripped down three broad swords, three short swords and one sabre. There are more sets to strip down but as you can see the drawers are getting pretty full. So these are all the blocks that I use anything from 2x4s, 2x3s, 2x2s and then you've got all your 1x2s and so on, different colours. If you've got any unique pieces like these shaped pieces I'll try and keep them all together. Also, anything with Technic holes in there or anything like that, I'm going to use all go in there. A few round pieces there, those from Sabre, I believe. So, then I move on to dividing the colours. Now, as I mentioned, I wanted this ship to be in a dark grey, but I said on the last video, I believe, I didn't think I'd have enough dark grey to, to panel this, this beast. And uh, yeah, well, that shows there from all of those sets. Those are all the dark grey panels you get, so not an awful lot, although these pieces here will come in very handy. In fact, I think there's some more of those in a, another drawer, so I'll have to have a look. So in this one, this is all dark grey slopes, quite a lot of those. These will come in very handy for the underside of the uh, of the longsword, I think, along the fuselage. And then all of these slope pieces definitely going to be handy for top of the wings, engine area and things like that. And then we've got just your normal plate pieces here. So long ones, we've got sixes, got a whole load of fours there in different colours, light grey and dark grey. So plenty of those, it's good news. And then plates. Plates are something that I'm going to need an awful lot of. So I was quite pleased that I got a whole shed load of these four by six plates. That's definitely going to help. Not many of these bigger plates. This is this is going to be a struggle for me. I'm definitely going to have to strip down a lot more sets to get some of these bigger plates. I'm sure I'll use these. These are the landing pads from the Falcon sets. I think I've got a few of those somewhere else. So I'll have to have a rummage around to find some more of those. And then those are in the wrong box. That's what I said earlier. Those should be up there with those. If you can see more of those, so I could start having plenty of those triangular pieces which I'm sure I'll use on the wings and we've got the same in the, the light grey but as you can see there's a there's a lot more of these light grey angled pieces than there was of the dark grey so uh, yeah definitely going to be using those for the wing sections I think and then as you can see again sloped pieces there's a lot of unique slope pieces with Mega, like these pieces here, which I'm sure will come in handy. Those are just cockpits from uh, Sabre and possibly the uh, Short Sword, I think. More of those unusual angle pieces, and then just absolutely loads and loads and loads of sloped pieces. So that's how I keep everything in there. And then we move on to these. You would have seen me use these sets before as well. So absolutely those very long slope pieces here in different colours. So those, those, there's also some curved pieces in the bottom there as well. Some unusual pieces here. Some uh, quarter round dome pieces. And then you've got curved pieces, all sorts of wedge pieces there in different formats and then you've got wedges with studs on which will be very handy for creating the shapes of the fuselage and then we've got a whole load of slate pieces here 
as you can see in light grey and dark grey and then we move on to the tiles so we've just got large square plain tiles and then we've got the ones that are half studded half tiled small squares and then we just go down to more tiles as you can see and then these are all the long ones either fours sixes or eights absolutely loads and loads of those which will disappear very very quickly when I start covering fuselage and wings with tiles they won't go very far at all and then in the next tray we've got all of these kind of side build blocks which again I'm sure I'll go through these like nobody's business lots of these things I'm going to try and use so I've got absolutely loads of them so I'm sure I can find a use for those these are really handy to go on the top of a block and then to allow you to start building on the side we'll definitely go through lots of those all the different types of them ones twos fours and then we've got some just unique pieces here which I'm sure again will get used if they don't get used for the actual structural side of the build they'll definitely get used for when I start greebling inside areas to create features and if we look at the next one so here we've got angled tiles which again will come in really really useful when I start covering the wing sections and now these are all hinge pieces basically many many different types of hinge pieces and again I will definitely be using these we've got them in light grey dark grey unusual hinge pieces there which can be popped into the bottom so again I'm sure I'll use those these I think these are unique to Mega I don't think Lego has these. These are so useful. It allows you to instantly change the direction you're building in, which is it, it proves so pop, uh, it proves so handy on the Pelican build. So I'm sure I'll use these a lot again in this build. And these are unusual pieces again. These are from the Sabers. So whether I'll find a use for them or not, I don't know. But I like to use as many pieces as I can just to try and keep it interesting. Then we've got grill pieces unusual angled slopes which again I'm sure I can find a use for those and then some other these are good for detailing really these kind of pieces here so that's why I like to keep all those separately then final box just some of the figures that were in those sets I've just kept them in there for now and then obviously all the canopies now canopies may or may not be used but as I did with the pelican build I tried to use unusual pieces like using the tank um, tank tread uh, tank track covers from the Rhino which I was pleased about that so all these sort of things like the engine thrusters and stuff I'll see if I can incorporate those in places for detail and then these here is just my miscellaneous this is great for when you want to do some greebling work you can just grab a handful of anything and just say that I'm going to stick that on it really does uh, really does help and then we've just got pieces on there with stickers on and then all these bits are the landing gear from the short swords which I really like because they're quite detailed little pieces so I'd really like to incorporate those somehow for greebling or something I don't know it's just, I just want to use as many pieces as I can so that's all the parts separated out and as you can see I have made a start here just getting the base up so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into a time lapse and you can see how I put this thing together. One of the hardest things I find when I'm building mocks is knowing where to start and then the second hardest thing is knowing how to achieve what you want to create. I'm still relatively new to this building lark so I'm still experimenting constantly so you'll see as I time lapse I, I take things apart, I put them together, take them apart and I constantly f figure out ways to try and achieve what it is that I I want my end result to be. So if I show you this front 
section of the cockpit for example you may or may not have seen in that time lapse that I did actually take it apart a few times um, also once I've got it finished here as you can see in the silver I looked at it I thought right I'm pretty pleased with that um, I'm happy with the overall look apart from something didn't feel right to me and I decided it was because it was too much silver and as I've said this won't be the color I want it to be which is dark gray so to soften it up a little bit I've decided to take it apart again off camera and then rebuild it with a bit of graphite gray around the windows I thought if I do this all the way around the cockpit it will really help to break up that constant silver so if you guys want to have a closer look at this you can see here I'm also trying to make this easy to come apart so I want to be able to remove the cockpit or at least sections of the cockpit or the covers to be able to interact inside so obviously I haven't done any real work there you can see I've put a base down here but that's about it and the main reason for this base is as you can see just to give me my my shape so I know what I'm working with so if I put that there all of this will be changed I'm sure at a later date but this piece here I've used a combination of side building using these side blocks here just some plates and then also just standard building as well and I've put this little section here again I'll probably improve this slightly and these little legs are here purely just so it helps it to stand but the idea is is when there's more of a cockpit there or more of a canopy I can just drop that down on like that and it looks seamless so when it's finished you won't know how it comes apart the other thing that I'm also always concerned about is making something to look nice is one thing making it so it doesn't fall apart every time you look at it is another so I do like to try and engineer it to a point where you can actually move it around like the pelican for example if you haven't seen that video I can swoosh it around the room I'm not so confident I'm going to be able to do that with this one but uh, I'm, I'm certainly going to try my best okay so uh, back to the speed build Okay, so as you can see, I've had to modify it a little bit again. I'm now working on these side windows, which are challenging. I've also had to modify this again. I've, I had to reduce the height of this because when I was putting it on, it was too high. There was too much, there's too much head height in this cockpit area for how big the room has to be. So it was just, it was up here. So I've reduced that down by reducing how far it goes here. Um, this bit here will be all tidied up later but at the moment I'm just trying to what you want to try and do when you're building these mocks is you want to try and get the frame how you know you need it so you've got to you've got to make all these angles work which is why what I'm doing now is I've used little these little turntable pieces unfortunately I've only got green ones but you won't really see them once it's done so I've used these turntable pieces inside here if I just get rid of this piece to give me this angle so it allows me to not only if I put the turntables on here and then some hinge pieces it allows me to get the angle I need like this if I hadn't put those on right okay so those are too big I'm gonna to have to take those off to get the angle right so I'll take these off in a minute which allows me to bring this in and out that's obviously got to be sorted connected into here and I'm just playing around with these wedge pieces. I think I'll, um, I need to try and shape the windows a bit more. So if this was the other side, I need to bring this here to try and shape this slope up here. So I'll put some of these side 
stud pieces in here just to uh, allow me to do that hopefully that's the plan anyway easier said than done so that's where I'm at the moment and as I've said a number of times it's a constant case of build and rebuild but so far I'm pretty pleased with the way it's going so I'm just going to rectify this situation here so I can resize that try and do this I'm going to try and complete this area with this so it all marries in nicely along here and along here okay so back into the speed build okay so these side panels ended up causing me no ends of grief uh, I went through several different rebuilds trying to figure out how to get these windows incorporated on a side build they are side panels but the windows themselves are built on their side so that complicated things slightly plus I had to have these side panels leaning in whilst tapering forward as well and they have to fit in with the contour of the roof so what you see here got scrapped and then got scrapped again in the end I gave up trying to film it and I just went to back to just building to try and focus on actually getting it resolved and in the end I came up with this which I'm pretty pleased with in the end uh, I, I almost gave up but um, it still needs a little bit of work but the angles are right so I'm pleased with it so as you can see I've got these two pivot brakes here this is another thing that I was keen to have I want maximum room on the inside for this detailed interior and this allows me to adjust the angle of this as needed it can be strengthened up a bit once it's finalized but as you can see once we put it back on the map there and then we reinstall the cockpit front <clears throat> it then follows this line here pretty nicely yes there's a little bit of a gap here I'll see if I can do something with that but you'd be surprised how many gaps there were on the Pelican dropship mock around the cockpit of that but it's never going to be perfect it is Lego it's not actually going into space so it doesn't have to be airtight um, so yeah pretty pleased with that very very stressful um, already ran into parts limitations which was annoying but uh, managed to find a way around it so I think what I'm going to do now is build the other side and then work on this top section here to uh, recovering that you can see I've already put a couple of panels on so I'll try and tidy this area up work on this area and see if I can build the other side for you Okay, so that's the second side put together. Much easier once you know what you're doing. So yeah, that went together pretty well. Just about had enough pieces for that bit. So moment of truth. Let's uh, let's see what it looks like when we attach this to the other turntables. Hopefully, it all should line up. There we go. Right. There. So there you can see got the two sides on. The thing I'm most pleased about this is the amount of space I've managed to retain on the inside so I can start working on the seating area and the screen and all of the computers and the side sections, uh, the side bits down the side there with monitors on. That's, that's the bit I'm really looking forward to. This is the bit I've got to get through to get to that bit. So let's just pop that back on its map just drop this on see if it still fits hopefully it will and there we go drops into place on the front nice and snug and true lines there which is a relief and also on this side as well so Pretty pleased with that it all sort of supports itself quite nicely there will be more structure here there'll be a wall in between the cockpit and then as we move on to the next room so there's more to do here 
Uh, I think I'm just going to see if I can do something with this roof section and that will be about it for this phase of the cockpit. The next phase will be working on the interior. So we'll just jump back into a time lapse to see how I get on covering this roof. <music> Okay guys, so that's the basic structure for the roof section done, but I've also added in just some tabs underneath here, which what that does is it helps keep these side pieces in place. They then can't come in. So it sets that back section where it needs to be. Problem is, it then opens up these gaps here. So to combat this, I'm just going to try moving these back to around here which covers this bit here so we deal with one problem at a time if we move these back like this we can put something like this on here and then we can use these um, just to oh, wrong side I've got all of the wrong side that side just to soften up that angle coming back in to where it needs to be as you can see it's just a just to give it that direction we've still got this hole here so I think we can use one of these little slope pieces here just to fill that in you're just trying to make it look good as you can by eye without any huge holes there so that definitely tidies up a little bit we'll deal with this bit as we go back if I just put the other side on there some more grey tiles and I think we'll go Silver again. On the front. Uh, again, more grey. Again, this is where I use my creative license. I'm not going exactly on what I see on the pictures. I'm just trying to create something that's pleasing. To my eye as it's me that's building it so there we go if we pop that back on there click those two back sections in and then just need that last little slope in there just pop that in And there we go so I'm pretty pleased with how this is turning out still needs a bit of work obviously we can tidy up I've started doing a little bit of detailing on the outside and may change that I need to continue plating this but I'm not going to go overboard with plating at this point because I prefer to wait till I've got a bit more of the uh, bit more of the fuselage you never know where you're going to need the pieces the most so I just get the main structure done first and then we can move on to plating it and making it look really tidy from there obviously the underneath needs to be built as well but that will be at a later date so hopefully you guys enjoyed that let me know what you think of the new format of the video where i show you a bit of speed build a bit of talking that's what people have requested so let's see if people do in fact like that or whether you'd rather me just go back to 
playing music and time lapsing the whole thing. Be sure to uh, leave some comments in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.